<laughs> Thanks so much for coming around to take some photos of me. That's all right. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna show you. So I've got these um, these cool pants that somebody sent to me. Oh, yeah. um, it's a cool company that has these like has like the crotch already. Yeah. The bulge attached to the pants. Yeah, it looks good. It looks really natural. Does it? Actually, yeah. That's cool. That's yeah. good. Yeah, I feel a bit self-conscious about it just because of my my kind of my hip area. Mm -hmm. um, but I know obviously with the magic of photographs, then we can we can kind of like fix yeah. that a little bit. So if I put my arms down by my side like that and just tense. Like to me, you look great. Like you don't look like you've got, you know, much hips at all. But I understand like, it's dysphoria, isn't it? Like when you're trans, it just, it feels, um, it's something you can't ignore, you know, it's always there. It's yeah. so personal, dysphoria. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, for me, I, I had major dysphoria with my, my chest before I had my top surgery. And then after that, I was I was a lot more aware of of my, my hip area. And it's funny because I've been on testosterone for 10 years, but I only realized recently that actually my fat is never going to redistribute any more than it already has. Yeah. You know, because yeah. that would have happened in the first year of taking testosterone. And over the years, you know, when I've been really focused more in the gym or when the year that I ran a half marathon and then a marathon, that was when I was quite thin mm -hmm. and my hip area was less for sure. But yeah. I just don't want to become obsessed in that way. Like, I would just want to live you know, just do moderate exercise and feel good about myself, you know what I mean? I've definitely got bigger hips than you, I think, but, and I am aware of him, when I was going through puberty, my hips were a major, major problem for me, like, they were one of the biggest things about being trans at the time, you know, I hate having this shape, this womanly shape, yeah. but now that I'm on testosterone, I feel a lot more comfortable with them, especially because I'm like a chunkier guy, yeah, 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 like, if I wasn't trans, I'd still probably have these hips, and guys do, don't they, guys come in yeah. all shapes and sizes. I'm not any less seen as a man, yeah. you know, just because I've got these hips, it's like, I, I still have that, that passing privilege. Even though I'm non-binary, I still have this passing privilege, at, you know, in public as a man. But, you know, I, I realized that when, um, after I had my top surgery, I thought I'd, I'd have my top off all the time. But what's um, keeping me back is, is not my scars. I'm actually really proud to be trans. It's the fact that I have this this kind of hip area, I just I just feel focused on it and it's so hard to explain dysphoria to somebody who doesn't experience dysphoria, but yeah. I, I just know that if I didn't have this this aspect to me, then I would be more likely to take my top off. And I suppose cis guys feel like that as well with dad bod and, and whatever. Yeah, you know? Exactly. But I guess when you are trans it's just you're more aware of it and it like is a bit of a reminder that you weren't you know, your body isn't completely right, you know, yeah. you know, weren't born really the way that you should have been. Exactly, and and with lower surgery being in, in limbo the way it is right now, you know, a lot of people like yourself have been waiting two years to have surgery, yeah. like further surgery, but for me, I've been waiting for eight plus years for to, to even start my lower surgery, and, yeah. you know, there's some things that I can change, some things I can't change, and, you know, when it comes to fat redistribution, um, hearing about liposuction and what's available through that, I was actually just, it just blew my mind. I was like, wow, I can actually do something about it. And obviously I'll still be able to work out after that and, and keep that, that shape. Uh, you know, you still have to work at it. It's not like I can sit there and eat all the pies and expect to have the same V-shape that I might get from lipo. Yeah. Um, but, you know, this is something I'm, I'm quite excited about. So yeah, I've got my surgery in a couple of weeks. Are you nervous about it? I'm, I'm a bit nervous about it. I just have no idea what it's going to make me feel like afterwards. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm obviously nervous about going under the knife and, and going under general anesthetic, just being knocked out while this is happening. I'm kind of intrigued to know how I'm going to, how it's going to make me feel afterwards. Yeah. And, and I just don't know how good it's going to make me feel because I only know how bad it makes me feel right now. Yeah. You know? Well, I guess, yeah, we can't imagine our bodies being any other way, can we? It's not like it's about size, is it? It's not like you just want to lose weight. It's not size, it's shape, and that's the difference. It's not, you know, it's not it's not vanity or, or, or cosmetic in a sense. I don't see it like that. Right, I see yeah. it as, you know, it is directly related to you being trans, right? That's how, how you feel about it. That is how it? I feel yeah. about it. Because when I was growing up, I was like a stick insect. I was like a pencil, yeah. you know, just really skinny for various reasons because I didn't eat a huge amount. And mm -hmm. I was... Um, 
I was quite anxious a lot of the time as well. So I'm, I'm really happy to be, you know, I like the fact that I've got bigger shoulders and so on. And yeah, yeah. and so it's, it's, it's complicated, isn't it? Because it's mm-hmm. not like I, I want to just have it all sucked out of me, you yeah. know, in, in that way. I, I want it to be redistributed. And, yeah. and that's what I'm hoping that's going to give me. And I'll have more confidence then with my shirt off and, and taking, you know, photos like this as well. So yeah, yeah if you could just yeah, take yeah. a few more, that'd be cool. Yeah. So what kind of tricks do you have for like hiding... So mostly just putting my elbows closer to my body and then angling slightly like that. So I'm kind of at, at, at a slight angle. So I'm posing there. <laughs> but yeah, it's like it's like look relaxed, look happy. But you know, um, yeah. I can fake it on camera. Yeah. But you know, and then in reality, it's like I, I just I have these hips, you know, and yeah, and yeah. yeah, I just want to do something about it. So yeah, it's exciting. I'm really happy that I booked this surgery, and I'm really happy. Um, that I'm going to go see an expert to, to deal with that kind of stuff. And mm-hmm. yeah, I just need to um, book the time off to be able to recover afterwards. And, and luckily I've been able to raise most of the money for it now. So yeah, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah. 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 Well, as you know, like, I think you look great as you are, you. but you know, I'm really excited for you because I know how much it means to you. And yeah, I'm, I'm really intrigued to see what, what the results are. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Thanks.